Hey guys, I'm back with my review of Vampire Academy. I know I'm really late. Um, I just haven't gotten a, gotten a chance to do it. Um, I went Friday, opening night, and I went and saw it with my friend Whitney, and she's obsessed with the series like I am. So we were both, we had just reread, so we were both like really prepared. And you know, I made that video before. And by the way, thanks for the views, guys. Like, it's already up to like 460 views. That's crazy. Like, I made that just thinking, oh, this will be fun and nobody will really watch it. But like, you guys really watched it. So I really appreciate it. And thank you for all the positive feedback. So um, anyway, uh, like I was saying, my friend and I went opening night Friday. And you know how I felt like I was kind of nervous. Like I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be good. It's gonna be terrible, blah, 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 blah. Um, I was wrong. 100% wrong. It was amazing, guys. I can't even tell you how excited I am that that it was so good. It was so good. Like, if you get a chance to go see it, go see it. It'd be a good Valentine's Day. Like, I think I could maybe talk my husband into taking me for Valentine's Day, even though, uh, I don't know, I, I pushed it with the, with a the Twilight movie. <laughs> he had to end up seeing them all, and he was just like, oh my god, I hate you. Um, so I might be able to talk him into it. If not, that's okay, because I'm gonna go see it again. I cannot wait to go see it again. I have been doing nothing but watching stuff online, interviews, like promotional stuff. They have this 50 minute behind the scenes um, <clears throat> clip that they released on YouTube where it shows them filming all the stuff. And actually, um, the main thing that I liked the most about the movie was they got everything. I have never seen a book to movie adaptation that nailed everything. Like, okay, and, and, and I, I say that in, like as far as like these vampire <laughs> teen teen movies go because Hunger Games is different I feel like they they nailed those movies but those mo that that was that's a book that translates really well to movie like I like those movies better than the books but anyway um so I'm not really referring to that I'm talking about as compared to Twilight and Mortal Instruments and whatever else this movie got every every single thing from the book like it was like Winnie and I stopped at one point and we're like did they have a checklist like this big checklist that they just went through and we're like got it got it got it got it. I mean I could have I could have checked off everything that they covered in the movie that was in the book it was insane it was so exciting like I've never seen it. they even put parts in that I'm like I will probably leave that out Nope, it was in there. The, 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 the only part that I saw watching that behind the scenes thing, there's this, there's a part in the book where it's like a flashback and Rose and Lissa are at a party and this guy brings a feeder to the party, which if you know the series, you know that um, Morat, Moroy, which by the way, anybody else been pronouncing those names wrong the whole time? Because I know I have. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But the Morai, Moroy, really? Now I'm like self-conscious and I'm going to pronounce it wrong and I don't even remember how to do it. Um, they use feeders, which are humans that are willing to let them drink small amounts from them. You know, not enough to kill them because if, if a Moroy drinks and kills somebody, then they become a strigoi. So anyway, um, feeders are like humans that just are a food source and, and they have them secluded to these little like rooms and the humans are willing and everything, but it's like, you know, they don't interact or whatever. Well, this guy brings a feeder to a party and it upsets Lissa and um, Rose confronts him and everything. And it, it's just a little flashback in the book, kind of to give you some perspective and background on Lissa and Rose. And um, that wasn't in the movie, but when I watched the behind the scenes, I guess they did film that. I guess they just ended up cutting it out because it wasn't a vital part. It really just kind of showed the strength in, in the book. It just kind of showed um, how powerful Lissa's spirit abilities are. But um, anyway, like that's, oh my gosh, they changed some things obviously because they have to because it's a movie and you don't, you know, people that haven't read the book aren't going to know certain things. I'm sorry, I'm going to play with my hair compulsively because like I said, I haven't made a video in forever so I forgot how easy it is to play with your hair. Um, I'll try really hard not to. Um, <coughs> but they had to change some things so people would understand. And they did such a good job that I feel like people that that haven't read the books would understand. I don't know. Please leave me comments. Be nice though. Um, down below and tell me if, if you haven't read the books and you've seen the movie, did you understand or like did you like it or get into it? Because I really feel like they did a really good job um, 
translating it for people that that haven't read the books so that was really good um I unfortunately don't think that it did very good at the box office which breaks my heart and and it just it's sad because I think that it's not because it wasn't a good movie and it's not because it wasn't like appealing to people I think it really had like I really think it had two things going against it first being the name I just don't like Vampire Academy people people don't want to go see a movie called Vampire Academy because it because they think what they're going to school to learn to be vampire like uh, I don't know I've never liked that name I didn't like the name of the book either I don't feel like that name represents that book this book these books are so complex and they have really really interesting characters and then that's the name like I'm sorry because I love Rochelle Mead I think she's amazing I love I, I've read every book that she's ever made even like the old ones that are kind of weird <laughs> I've read them I totally have because I love her but I just don't get the name like it's just not a I don't know so I think it had that working against it and I think that the vampire thing's kind of over like you know what I mean? If it had come out the same time that Twilight and True Blood and Vampire Diaries and all that had come out, I think maybe it would have done better. Now people are really wanting more post-apocalyptic utopian society type type movies. And that's fine because we need a change. There is so much vampire stuff, but <clears throat> it's just, it just makes me sad that it kind of missed the mark. And I, I hope... I hope, I hope, I hope they make the second one because God, it just gets better. It just gets better. I can go ahead and just tell you because uh, you, there's, okay, there's going to be spoilers, but I have two other videos of me reviewing Vampire Academy books. I think, I think there's two. I know there's one at least. Um, so if you've watched those, then you know what happens. But it's just, Rose and Dimitri have this deep, intense love that they can't tell anybody about not because she's 17 and he's 24 which is kind of weird but um but you don't really notice when you're reading and not because he's her instructor mentor it's because they're both guardians and, and it says it at the end of the movie which seriously stuck a fork in me because I'm done like that was so perfect the end of the movie sealed it because he says he goes it's not because of those things it's because if we're both assigned to Lissa and I'm supposed to be protecting her and there's a threat, I'm going to jump in front of you and not her because I love you. Oh, guys. Oh, it's so good. So, um, no, but they have this really intense, deep romance and they can't tell anybody about it. And, um, it just gets more complicated and more characters come in as the series goes along. And then something happens to Dimitri. She claims or she, she promises that she's going to do everything she can to bring him back. And uh, it's just, guys, it's amazing. So they have to make the rest of the series. I'm not kidding. They have to. Like, I don't even care if they make it into, like, a Lifetime series. Please, please, can we make the rest of the movies? Um, but, <clears throat> yeah. So one of the things that, that, that really, I, I don't want to say I didn't like. I just didn't get why they did it that way. Um, there's really only one thing that I genuinely did not like. But, um... <clears throat> The main thing was, uh, there were a few things. The, the queen showing up randomly, like I didn't get that. She shows up in the first book, but she just addresses Lissa in like passing. She's like, hey, guess what? You screwed up. But she didn't call her up to this big altar and like bash her in front of the entire student body. You know, I didn't really get that. And then I really didn't get her showing up the second time. And then Lissa taking over and making a speech. Like I just, I didn't, I don't know. I, I didn't get it. Like I, I, I don't want to say it was unnecessary, but it kind of was. Like, I just didn't see the point. But, so there was that. And then there, at the very beginning, which they released this clip, so you could probably see it. Um, <clears throat> if you, like, Google it or look for it on YouTube. Um, at the beginning, when they're taking Lissa and Rose back to the school, Dimitri's driving, and they get attacked by a Strigoi. On the outside of school, like, and, and if, if you've read the books, you know that anytime there's a Strigoi attack, that entire, like, everything's thrown off kilter. Like, everybody freaks out, the Guardians are called in, like, it's a big deal. And then in the movie, it's like, oh, all these Strigoi attacked, no big deal, Rose, you choked. Like, I was like, no, <laughs> that's not, I get why they did that, because there wasn't actually a sighting, like, there wasn't actually a... Um, in the book, there wasn't any Strigoi attacks in the first book. Um, 
So I get why they did that, I'm sure, just to show people what Strugoi are and, and kind of establish that group of characters or whatever. I, I get that. So that, that made sense to me. I just didn't, I don't know. It kind of caught me by surprise. Um, and then that, the, oh, the main thing that I didn't like, uh, and like diehard fans, I'm sure you're going to agree with me because Whitney and I were like mad about it. They totally, totally downplayed Dimitri and Rose's relationship, I feel like. Like, I feel like it was still really strong and really established, and especially at the end, they, they saved it. But there were several times when Lissa and Natalie were both like, oh, you got a crush on your Dementor. Oh my gosh, you're so in love with them. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not, no, they didn't, Lissa had no idea. Natalie kind of kind of knew because Victor knew, I mean, obviously, because Victor made the, the lust charm. Um, but Lissa had no idea until like the third or fourth book when Rose leaves the academy to go hunt Dimitri. Um, which I'm sure you can probably figure out why. I hate, I hate to give it away though. Um, but no, that really upset me because that really downplayed it into this high school crush when it's not. It's not a high school crush. It's not. It's so much deeper than that. And you're going to think I'm such a dork for saying that, but it really is. Um, you just have to read the books to understand. So um, I didn't really like that. But in, in their defense, I think they did that because um, I think, they, I think they, they explained a lot of stuff ahead of, like, they explained a few things that weren't even covered until later books in this movie, but I think that they did that because, you know, the other movies might not get made. So, so, which, that upsets me, but I understand why they did that. I really think that's why they, they did, they, they covered a lot of stuff that, that's not covered in, until later books in this movie, but it was still amazing. Zoe, Deutsch is amazing. Like, she's amazing. And then Danila Kozlovsky, I think I said it right, because I've watched so many interviews with him. Like, I am obsessed with him. Um, I, I am. I'm obsessed with that guy. He's, he's amazing. Like, he is so genuinely, like, he seems like such a nice guy. Like, at all the premieres and stuff, he just, like, doted on Zoe so much. He was just like, I love her. She's amazing. Like, he would, like, hug her. And, oh my god, it's I love him. Um, they're both amazing. They're both, they couldn't have nailed those two characters more. They're amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, the entire book was amazing. It was, it, it was, there was nothing that, I don't have anything negative to say other than the whole crush thing, but that's not even really that, that's just the weird, like, like obsessive fan pet peeve. You know what I mean? That's not really saying anything bad against the movie because if you didn't read the books, then you wouldn't think that that was a big deal. Um, but it was perfect. It was perfect, guys. I'm so excited about it. If you've seen it, leave me a comment below and tell me if you liked it. If you didn't like it, I understand. But if you did, then then you're on the same page as I am because it was amazing. And I cannot wait to see it again. I loved all of the actors. I think they nailed it. I think the director nailed it. I think the screenwriter nailed it or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, it was beyond perfect. And like I said, I, I realize that I've been mispronouncing names the whole time, but that doesn't matter when you're reading. Nobody knows that you're mispronouncing. I think I actually said Dampire once. I put the E at the end, whatever. It's Dampire. Mm. So um, anyway, that's funny. And Mole Ninja. I was saying Mole Ninja. It's Mole Niha, whatever. <laughs> like I said, when you're reading, nobody knows. Um, but yeah, so I really hope they make Frostbite. I really, really do, because the series just gets better from here. Um, but I don't know how, I don't know how those decisions work. Um, I just know that all of the fans, like myself, need to go out and see it again and post stuff and make a big deal and get it made. So I hope you guys are doing good and I hope you go see it if you can. Um, leave me comments, like I said, subscribe. Uh, I have a Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll put a link below. And I'll put a link below to my uh, book reviews of the other Vampire Academy books that I I reviewed, obviously. So, um, anyway, all right, guys. Uh, I loved it. Love Danila. Love that guy. He's amazing. I hope he makes it big in America. Um, <laughs> so, I'll see you later. Bye.